Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. It's time for another handgun showdown where the viewers of this channel decide which manufacturer produces the better handguns. Today we are featuring Sig Sauer versus HK. And I am really looking forward to this one. It's been a while since HK has been in the handgun showdown, and I think this one will be tight. However, I need to report the results from the last handgun showdown where we matched up Sig versus Ruger. And I had a lot of people said, this isn't even close. Sig is way better, but you would be shocked at how many people chose Ruger. It was tight, but in the end, Sig took it. What a great handgun showdown that was. I'm looking forward to featuring SIG again. So let's get to it. Let's start with HK and we'll begin right here with the VP9B. The B has the push button release opposed to the trigger guard. Comes with 17 round magazines. They now make this optic ready four inch barrel and a very nice trigger. People love the triggers on the VP handguns. I'm measuring this at five pounds with the reset right there a full pick rail three dot steel sights that are luminescent it does have a striker fire indicator right there a red dot in there that, that will go away when the slide is not charged excellent ergos hk is known for that this vp9 has additional grip panels and back straps fits great in the hand i do like the 17 round mags the trigger action is Phenomenal and at the range it just performs. I really enjoy shooting this VP9B. I don't mind the trigger guard magazine release, but I, I went with the B intentionally, just a little more common for me. But over here we've got the HK45. This is a fine handgun too. And 45 ACP. This is a full-size model. They also make this a little more compact. This has a 4.5 inch barrel and 10 round magazines and 45 ACP. You'll notice that this one does have the ambidextrous magazine release on the trigger guard. Also ambi slide stop. The VP9B also has that ambi slide stop. This one has additional back straps, not grip panels, but still those ergos on the HKs are really nice. A full pick rail, three dot luminescent sights. This is a variant one in the HK45 pattern. It does have a Thumb safety decocker. You could carry this cocked and locked just like that, but it is clear. And I am measuring a four and a quarter pound single action trigger pull with a reset right there. Very much a fine handgun. I was so happy to acquire this. I, I got it in a trade and I have no regrets. Love the 45 ACP and this HK45 does it for me. Now let's check out Sig Sauer. I have three SIGs to show in this handgun showdown. Let's start here with the P226 ASC Alloy Stainless Elite. This is a Talo model. You can see it does have the rosewood grips. This mag is a Mechgar mag, has 18 plus two, so increasing the capacity. Excellent trigger action here. This is an SRT, short reset trigger, single action trigger I'm measuring right at four pounds. 4.4 inch barrel, a beautiful looking and functioning handgun. Does have the decocker right there. But the P226 is very commonly known. It's a duty gun, it's an everything gun. You know, this, this type of handgun instills confidence at the range and I love this. Really shot up in price as well. But over here we've got the P320X Compact. Very nice ergos on this. They, they Undercut the trigger guard, put that indentation on there, feels great. It's a cross between a subcompact and compact size, 3.6 inch barrel, 15 round magazines. Does have a loaded chamber indicator bar. It is optic ready with the SIG Romeos and a loophole Delta Point Pro. SIG light, rear night sights, X-ray 3, front dot, full rail and a flat trigger. They call that the X trigger. And that I am measuring the X trigger right at four and a half pounds with the reset right there. A modular pistol, a lot of excitement. Came out in 2019, people were on fire for the SIG P320X Compact. 
it's performed great for me throughout the years and I'm certainly proud to feature it in this but over here we've got the P365 everybody knows this 3.1 inch barrel this trigger is an X trigger this was added afterward 12 round magazines in its current setup typically it's 10 sometimes it's 15 sig expanded that does have front serrations uh, night sights again you know you got the rear night sights x-ray 3 front dot and a five and a quarter pound trigger pull here and people really love the p365 they say you know i carry that i love it so small so light shoots great you know people would even pocket carry this they now make this optic ready as well so sig is getting it done and they certainly got it done with three these three handguns so which one is it for you is it hk or sig sour both manufacturers have huge fan bases they make worthy handguns many would consider high-end handguns but whatever the case do you feel it's hk or Sig Sauer, let me know and I'll report the results back with the next handgun showdown. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.